I love it, but can't keep everything. Anything that I can let go of, I do try to do it. Um, because the collection and how much we look for stuff is way too much. Oh, see, like I keep little trinkets like this all the time. So it makes it really hard for us to keep organized in our home. Um, again, I usually just go off of uh, design. Like I don't look for makers very much, like who made something, I should. Most of the time I know I should, but it just, with the business being so busy, I just really go off of um, what I like design-wise. Oh, this is so amazing. I cannot, I cannot sell this. Look at this. I think I sold maybe one part of it. And I don't know which sale I got it from. I think for sure it was an estate sale because that's amazing. Oh, sheesh. That's just on another level. It's signed 70, 1975. And dang, I wish I, I, I don't know who did it or where I got it from. A lot of art. I collect too much art. In the pile it goes of keeping. Oh, I think I found the, what we sold on. Oh, no. Let me see what this is. Oh, huh. I don't think this is vintage because I've had, um, I sold similar things that were made, um, uh, recently i just think it's a really good reproduction um until i find out i'm going to keep it another reason i think it's a reproduction is the whole the in the back it looks really new but it's just a, uh, isn't that cool though like it's a uh, really heavy cast iron okay next up let's keep this moving along my husband got a pair of binoculars for some reason um they look very cool the strap is leather and it just has an antique look to it. I think he got it at a state sale. He probably, it was probably one of the first times he went with me and he got a little excited, so he got it. He forgot about it, but um, it looks like something good to remind us of those times when we were able to go to estate sales and things like that. Now it's literally just us in the shop all the time. Oh, sheesh. Um, made in India. So this one has a made in India. I don't think it's that old. Maybe hmm, less than 10 years old. It's still very cool. It has a cool crackle on it and patina. I'll be keeping that because uh, remember the other one? Isn't that the cutest pair? Oish. Really nice design. This one might be from India too. Oh, that looks just darling on the shelf. Okay. I'm hoping I find what we sold because that's going to bring us a little revenue. And justify. Oh wow. Okay. So, sheesh. This is. I, I forgot this was at an estate sale or at or I collected a a few places. I wish it said something. This one is Jerusalem pottery. Old city Jerusalem. Oh, that's amazing. It has some cracks in it, but it doesn't matter. I'm keeping this. And then this one. Oh. Hand painted florals on a tile. Can anything be more patina and romantic, as corny as it sounds? And this one is a little guy on a swing. I should not be let into it, say so. I collect way too much. Um, I don't know where to put this. I'm gonna put it on the floor so I can get through the video for you guys. Oh, this one I was trying to convince myself to sell. This is literally why I even went to estate sale, that estate sale in particular. This is handmade. I don't think it works, but it doesn't even matter because it's oh, the hanger. So there's a stamp on the side of it and there's a battery on the back. But look at this and just look at how it looks as a whole. Just amazing. Like it would look really good as part of an art gallery. I'm keeping this. I, it doesn't matter. I just can't get rid of something that looks like this. Um, handmade, beautiful. Okay, what do we have next? It feels like a mess. I collect mess a lot for some reason too. Oh, wow. This one, it's really nice. I think I can possibly sell it. I'm, I really like it, but I have way too many mess. So, I don't think about 
that one? All right. Okay, next up. Oh, I remember there was one that stays so where there's a bunch of matchboxes, or it could have been Goodwill. Um, looks really cool. We had it for, at the store for a while, so I was trying to sell it, but never sold, so I just kept it. And then this little um, trinket, I have no idea what it is. I'll do a little more research. I wouldn't find anything. I'll put it on to a next video. This guy's a little heavy. It might have just been part of that candle pair. Oh, yeah. So, yay, now we have three that look alike. So, another one. Okay. I'll just put that on here so we know we have a set of three. Okay, next up. Oh, I think I see what we sold on Etsy. Okay, so this one is... Not yet. So this one's too light to be. So we sold like a little sculpture, like a pig sculpture on Etsy. I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like. But, oh, this is wrapped double, so it might be really precious. Oh, that, oh my God, that's so amazing. Oh. That is amazing. Okay, so this one is handmade. Um, actually handmade in high school. Don't know what that is. Oh, wow. So it's just a little beaver. I'm gonna keep it. It's handmade and signed, handmade in um, some high school. Um, let's see, class of 58, very old. I can't wait to stage these things. They're just so amazing. Um, isn't that just a goofy squirrel? Okay, next up, next up. Gotta move through this video quickly so I can go make dinner. Oh, sheesh, okay, so I think I don't know where I got these from. They're really cool. I think it was, has to be an estate sale because they're such in good condition. So this one's a wood carving and this one is just a pottery with a lot of patina that I can't let go of. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I can't wait to stage with those two things. Absolutely. Okay, next up, I'm sorry. I have no idea what to say in these videos as it's been a really long video, but I will try my best to stage these items so you can see why I like them in the first place. Oh wow, this guy is actually, surprisingly enough, I found him in Goodwill. It was a really expensive, maybe like $60, and that's pretty up there for Goodwill, but I think he sits on the um, on the ledge, and that's probably why I got him. It's an Eskimo carving, that's amazing. And it's, I have found a few since then, but that's my first like finding of this, and it always brings good memories, so I'll keep things just because of that sometimes um but obviously if there are some things i am willing to let go of for a good price like uh i don't want to sell the price but you know so this one i think i just like the shape of it it's really simple it says made in taiwan um i just think it would look cool in the kitchen this guy i remember not be wanting to sell him he has a label in the back um coating is beeswax it doesn't say where it was made. Bulgaria. Oh, wow. It's very simple, very beautiful. Okay, that was probably from an estate sale. I'm not finding what we sold, which is not a good sign. Hmm. I wonder if we have one more box. Ooh, this one uh, made in Japan. So... I don't know where this, oh, it was from an estate sale. Very cute box, made in Japan, stamp on the bottom. Mo butterfly patina, butterfly motif with patina on the back. Part of that cooking thing. Oh, I think, uh, hopefully I find what we sold before the main, that was the main reason why I even opened up all these boxes. Uh, now we have to find more bookcases for them. Oh, look at that, a little, I think that was Goodwill for sure. Very cool. Put him, look at that on the elephant thing. <laughs> okay, so next up, um, Indian sculpture. Very beautiful, cool bookend. I have no idea where I got that, but look at that next to this. Oh, amazing. Okay, next up, painting. More matchboxes that no one wants to buy, so I kept it for myself. I remember there was more than this. Okay, another indie uh, Native American. It's stamped on the bottom. I don't know where it's from. It has really cool patina. It's probably really old. I'm gonna put it in the thing. Oh, a knife or 
something. I don't know what it is. Very cool brass thing. Right here. Ooh, getting nervous. I can't find what we sold on the thing. Oh, part of that green plate situation. I can't believe I was only trying to sell this for $29. It's worth way more than that. My time, energy, and the fact that I picked this to be available in the shop. And now I'm going to keep it because it's just too beautiful. It has foots and it's green and has a floral thing. I'm so glad I kept that because that is amazing. Um, oh, wow. A tin something. Hand-painted tin box. Um, no maker's mark on the back. I don't know if I want to open that or not. Probably not to stay safe. Um, really cool folk art design. I have no idea where I got it. It could have been an estate sale because it's way too pristine. Sometimes when you find stuff at Goodwill, it has little, little patina marks of Goodwill. Yeah. This one's a toy. Someone told me it's worth a lot, so I kept it, and I like the green. It's like a trip, as corny as it sounds, trip down memory lane, seeing all these things and just remembering the times when I got them. Oh, my God. This is so amazing. I found another thing that looked like this, and I unfortunately, I sold it, but I'm so glad I kept this. I forgot that I had this. Isn't that amazing? So it's like, I think the guy told me it was something from Swedish or something and it's a hand painted horse and the patina, the reason I like it is because the patina on it that the paint has already all faded. It's so cool. Okay, I'm losing steam. Let me try to finish this box before I get lazy. Okay. Um, to sell, find what I sold so that we make some money. It doesn't feel like this one. It might be it. I have to try to finish this. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, oh, I think one of my dealers um, nearby sold me this one. He said it was from Germany. And I, I'm so glad I kept it. It's really beautiful. Oh, wow. That's really good. gorgeous. Um... Oh. oh wow i don't know how old that is that's just amazing looking see that i wonder where i put that item that we sold that's not gonna be good if i can't find it So random shoes that I found in Goodwill. I need to sell these. That's really gorgeous though. Five ninety nine at Goodwill. Sell that for sure. Oh, oh, I can't find it. Let me see. Huh. I think I have to stop the video because oh one more thing I'll show you guys one more thing look at that isn't that amazing I cannot sell that that's I have not seen anything like that Swedish probably oh there's it's actually signed oh it's made in Illinois can you believe that hmm. interesting okay I might as well just finish what I can uh, feel free to fast forward what you guys don't want to watch I want to finish this for you guys so I don't put it off oh wow plates, three plates that's amazing can't sell that putting that um, pig sculpture in here too. Oh, oh 
Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't find our Etsy sale. So I'm going to keep looking and then I'll update you guys tomorrow and I will make another video tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much. This has been so fun sharing um, the things I found throughout the years with you. And hopefully um, now I have these shelves. I won't be putting in a box away out of sight, out of mind again. Thank you.